guys, this is Brittany the Book Lady and I wanted to showcase for you several new titles that came out in our beautiful new catalog. I love the theme as well. So toward the beginning of the book you're going to find all the brand new titles as well as some mid-season releases. So I want to showcase some of those for you now and point out some of my favorites. Um, I can't wait to get this one in our, in our home, That's Not My Unicorn. It's our 50th book in the That's Not My series and it even is going to feature some holographic page edges. So that will be super fun. There's a couple of mid-season spring releases as well as some wipe clean um, options added to our collection. Um, let's see, on this page, notice that we've added a peek inside Fairy Tale, Sleeping Beauty. That one's going to be super popular, I'm sure. I haven't seen that one in person yet. Um, let's see. We got this one at convention, All You Need to Know Before You Start School, and it's a beautiful um, hardback book with um, cardstock, pretty sturdy pages, and I would recommend it for um, preschool age. Kids um, are going to learn lots that they're going to find helpful when starting school. This one's going to be popular. Um, the first questions and answers left the flap. Why do we need bees? They're so, so important. And very first questions and answers, what are germs? Those left the flap books are so popular. We have some more new titles on this page. I, am, I want to draw your attention to 100 Things to Know About Food. Um, the food industry is um, a hot topic right now. And so I think your children will love learning about food, 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 food. Here's another food one. See inside where food comes from. It'll be another lift the flap with tons and tons of flaps um, to explore this topic a little more. So check out some of those new titles. See inside New York City. Maybe you live in New York or you're, um, you love that city. Check that title out. There's a couple of graphic novels that have been added. I think those will be popular for adventure lovers. Ooh, these are going to be really great for um, beginning writing skills. And then this one is an addition to our writing books. We got this one in our convention um, registration materials, and it's so cute. I love the illustrations. It's a hyena ballerina. Our phonics readers are wonderful. This one I was surprised by, I saw at convention, and it's huge, a huge anthology with so many titles. I'm sure we're gonna get this one in our home because um, it would, I think it would be great for bedtime. It's one of those um, hardback books, an anthology of stories. The Kitty Cat series has been super popular. You notice we just added New York. A couple of um, picture books there. I cannot wait for these, um, these beginning reading books. They're just $3.99 each. Um, they're coming in August, and I think these are going to be a game changer um, for our collection. Um, you can see they go from levels one all the way up to four, and I just can't wait to see them in person. It says, this new series allows children to read at the level that's right for them from beginning readers to those ready to step up to longer chapter books with fewer or no illustrations. Read with Usborne has been developed with the help of reading experts to support and motivate children in the early stages of reading. So that is going to be huge. All right, a couple of more uh, mid-season spring releases. This is a fold, folding book, um, so you can I'm sure there's going to be perforated pages in this one. And then these wonderful fortune tellers. So exciting to fold. A couple of activity books, sticky, sticker books. And um, I think that one looks interesting. I'm interested to see that one in person. We got another. Um, this is a rub down transfer book. That's another one added to our collection. Another um, coloring book here. These are like great, a great size for um, gift giving, traveling, and dare I say, stocking stuffers. I'm, I saw this one in person. It was super um, 
super interesting. It had so many questions on every page. Um, just a cute little trivia book to go through for kids who love trivia. Here are some holiday books that we can look forward to. Um, a Slide and See Christmas. That one we're going to have to definitely get into our home. Christmas crosswords, plus some puzzle pads, fingerprint activities Christmas. Oh my goodness. Um, we have another magic painting book, a coloring book, maybe even for adults here. A little sticker dolly dressing. Pop-up Christmas. Um, you can't beat that. We got a couple of new um, cloth books. I'm excited to get those um, for our baby. This one was my absolute favorite that I saw at convention. It's a beautiful, um, intricately detailed pop-up alphabet book. Um, I recommend it to everyone. I loved it. It's just the illustrations are gorgeous and um, interesting, inviting, and I think that that one's going to be super popular. All of these, this entire row um, are books that I saw at convention I'm very excited about. Um, the Muddle and Match Fairy Tales, for those who love Muddle and Match, and these two Billy Adventure books um, with the vintage illustrations, um, great for preschoolers. Um, they're, they're written kind of like picture books, and they're so exciting. Scientist Academy has been added to our um, Academy collection. That one is going to be really fun. Um, we got this one in a registration packet. Um, it's all about um, activities that help children to create their dream bedroom. Um, there's even an opportunity for them to create a 3D model um, with furniture of what that would look like. A couple of new um, Hope coloring books. And then, of course, we've got cop color and pop-up animals and dinosaurs. Um, so you get the children get to color and then add these um, pop-up, press-out pop-up pieces to make a fun um, pop-up book. So those are going to be so popular. I already know that. Um, two new Shine-A-Light books, which are super exciting. Um, I saw it at the garage. It was gorgeous. I think that one's going to be popular, and I can't wait to say, see in the city in person couple of spring mid-season releases here, including Little Bear Needs Glasses, super popular. We have some new picture books. Um, some to point out would be I Love You Who. Um, I think this one would be great. It's talking about all the things that um, a child can do um, in their lifetime and accomplishments that they can have and things like that. And I think this would be a great one that you can give to um, a child maybe when they graduate, but maybe have teachers sign it. Um, every year and then just kind of present it as a graduation gift. Um, that's what it what made me, or the storyline kind of made me think of. Um, Nibbles the Dinosaur Guide, super, super popular, another addition to our Nibbles series. And the end is kind of open-ended. I anticipate more Nibbles books coming out. Pandemonium, Pandemonia, I love the illustrations in that one, super cute. Um, storyline, kind of an adventure story, silly story about what happens when you wake the panda in the zoo. Uh, Take Ted Instead stood out to me. It's a great rhyming book. I think it would be great to or to read to your children at bedtime. And Love With the Space Dog is the first of a 3D space book, um, or a 3D book. Um, and this one's all about space. And there's going to be another one coming out that we learned um, probably here in the fall couple of new titles added to some series that we already offer, the Pup Patrol books, and then Anna Hibiscus got a whole makeover. Um, the title or the, the cover page is, has different artwork now. Um, Axel and Beast is a brand new series. Um, that one's going to be really fun for comic, -y, comic book lovers, for example, um, graphic novel lovers. It's going to be an adventure series about this little boy and his robot. And then we have some more additions to our Gateway series. And there you kind of have it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that little preview. Let me know what questions you have um, or if you'd like to get a copy of our July to December catalog. Have a great day.